Hey y'all, today I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna fast for 36 hours. What? <laughs> yep, I used to do it and it made me feel really, really good. Not only that, it was a learning experience. So let's first talk about five benefits that fasting brings. I have opened an article called Eight Health Benefits of Fasting, backed by science. First, it promotes blood sugar control, promotes better health by fighting inflammation, uh, may enhance heart health, may boost brain functions, aids weight loss, of course, because you fucking don't eat for a whole day, and, you know, could delay aging, may aid in cancer prevention and all of that. I know all these big words sound nice, right? But the general basic idea is that you give your body one day break to heal itself and that it doesn't have to deal with all the food digestion and stuff. Right now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I woke up 4.30, so actually, must admit, I am a bit hungry. <laughs> Usually if I wake up that early, I already have two meals by now. I have nothing to do in this kitchen today, not even in this part, except going here to refill my water bottle. I woke up from a nap, must have been really tired because I slept for like an hour and a half. That doesn't happen that often hunger situation is under control but i must admit my mind wanders thinking what could i eat <laughs> what delicious stuff we have in the fridge it's 3 p.m and i feel really good but also very calm hungry but not excessively yeah i wanted to share what's the most difficult when it comes to water fasting for me first i mean have you seen me stuffing my face with food I think this explains on its own why it's difficult because I have an attachment to food. Not only that, a lot of my time in the day is spent in the kitchen. So when I don't have to go in the kitchen for the whole day, it changes, you know, uh, my day completely. So I need to figure out new stuff <laughs> to do. Now we're gonna talk with someone who's also doing a water fest today. You might know her. Her name is Claudia. She has been in quite some vlogs from Mexico and Guatemala. Hola! Buenos dias! Buenos dias! This is Claudia, guys. Uh, Claudia, where are you right now? Right now, I'm on the Caribbean coast of Colombia. Tell us, how do you feel? I feel like shit. <laughs> Since I woke up, my head hurts. I had food cravings on and off. I've been drinking a lot of water. I, I felt very grumpy and very hangry in the morning. <laughs> what have you been doing during the day? I've been writing a lot, journaling. I was making a list of food that I want my family to send to Colombia. I realized halfway through the list that it's the stupidest thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Claudia. Do you have some message in Spanish, maybe? Adios, mi gente. It's 8 p.m. in the evening, and truth to be told, I don't feel that good. I have the same side effects as usual, meaning I get really cold and then really hot, and my head started to hurt. I mean, hunger isn't even the problem here, it's just like, I'm without energy. Uh, I'm surprised I can still hold this camera after a minute of filming, because I feel so... So I think I'm gonna finish it off here for today. At 8 p.m. I think I'm gonna go to bed in like two hours and we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk tomorrow, okay? Good morning, here we are. This is my first meal after the fast. Some porridge with granola, chia seeds, and banana. While editing, I noticed how I stopped talking and just started eating without even being aware of it. I haven't experienced this type of tiredness and weakness from not eating before, so every bite I took was like getting my colors, my energy back. I don't want to exaggerate because I know that people do fasting like for three days or for a week or really long periods but i felt so weak yesterday 
I went to bed before nine because I was so tired. And yeah. If you want to try a water fasting also, I would suggest you read a bit before on the internet. But basically it's important that you drink a lot of water, that you don't do heavy exercise, but it's important to move. So yoga or walking or anything like this is really helpful. Uh, it's also suggested you don't pick a water fast on the day that's very stressful for you. So pick a day when you will have time to take time for yourself to write, to read, you know, to take it easy. Nothing about it. Things we try in quarantine, right? No, it's a good challenge, I think. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any question, ask it down in the comments. Bye!